back to the You Should Know Podcast Season 2, Episode 21. I'm out of breath. Yeah, just hold it. Just hold it. I'm out of breath. That was a uh, a dramatic entrance. I'm trying to change things up a little bit. I'm sweating now. It's too hot in the studio. Cam has pointed, the, before we started recording, Cam has pointed the fan directly only towards his section of the set. I'm hot. Guys, welcome back to another episode of the You Should Know Podcast. Thank you so much for coming back. We're getting, we're gaining a... Uh, New viewers, new listeners every single week, and I'm very appreciative of all of you, and I love you to death. I love you so much. But you know the drill, and you know the deal. The drill and the deal. Two Ds, you know them, double D. If you look below you right now, and you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, Cam, what are you? Say it loud. Wrong. Very wrong. If you look even below there, and you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, you're even more wrong. Guys. I know some of you are going to be like, I don't even know what to say, Payton. Like, I don't have anything to comment. Like, I just like to watch the videos or whatever, whatever. I get it. I'm very appreciative of you even being here, listening to me talk, watching me talk. Just, <clears throat> I'm going to stew up a little bit. Enjoying the podcast. But I want to talk to you. I see familiar faces every week, and I'm starting to gain a relationship with people. Like, we're becoming like friends, family. So go ahead and leave a comment. If you want to even be closer to the family and really build a rapport with us at the You Should Know Podcast, click the link in the description to join the Discord. We're talking in there every single day, exclusive content, behind the scenes stuff. Just the other day, last week, I posted a picture of some new decoration we have around the studio. I asked for suggestions and you get a Discord call live on the podcast. That's the only way you can get called live on the podcast is if you join the Discord, you can be a part of it. But if you want to be a part of the podcast and you don't have a Discord, you can follow me over on Instagram at PSH8. You have to be following me and you could submit a question for the podcast. I want everybody to be involved in this here uh, operation we got because we're all a family and I love y'all. I don't think y'all understand. Whenever, like, I say I love you, I love you. Cam can attest to this. My family can attest to this. Like, I talk about y'all like we I have, like, years together as friends. Y'all mean everything. Like, any decision I make, I'm like, oh, I don't know if my fans are going to like if I do that. Like, I don't know. I, I'm very, like, um, what's the protective of y'all? Because I love y'all so much, and y'all's opinion means everything, and how y'all view the episode means everything. And I've been getting a lot of DMs recently saying, hey, I'm going through a tough time. And your podcast has really helped me out a lot. And I just want to say, we love you. If you're going through a tough time right now and you're listening to this podcast, just know you got a friend in me and Cam and Liv and Ashlyn and everybody that's associated with this podcast. We are here and we love you. And we're glad we could take an hour or so out of your day to just forget about everything you got going on. If work's stressing you out, my TV just turned off. What is that? There's a galaxy behind me. God... Well, it's fine. We'll just fix it when Cam gets here. But still, we're talking about something serious. But if uh, we could take an hour out of your day, just forget about all your problems, forget about stressful work, school, annoying boss, fights with your significant other, fights with your family. Just as a, a time to just let loose, relax, enjoy, laugh a little bit. We love you so much. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at PSH8. Be sure to click that Discord link. Be a part of the family. Um, this episode is going to be a good one. We have some great topics. Last week we did like a more free flowing thing and we're still going to do that, but we have some actual topics incorporated into this episode. I'm wearing the same pants as last week. Don't you dare make a comment about it because that will make me insecure. They have been washed, they have been dried, and they smell like peppermint oil. So don't you dare go into this comment section and say, "Ew, Peyton got the same pants on because that will make me feel bad. And we don't want that. Right, Cam. Great. He gave a thumbs up. I love you so much. Bottom of my heart, I do love you so much. Enjoy the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. All right, guys. Today's episode is sponsored by our friends at Manscaped, the leaders in below-the-waist grooming. It's back-to-school time, and we want to make sure you pack the essentials to have the best year yet. The Manscaped fourth generation performance package is just that. Be ready for whatever is in your daily schedule this year. It's the perfect package for your package and includes the brand new Lawnmower 4.0 fellas. Go to the valedictorian of ball trimming and join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com with code PSH at checkout. School is back and the performance package 4.0 for Manscaped is here to teach the boys a lesson on male hygiene. Inside you'll find their lawn 
Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, Crop Preserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver toner, plus two free gifts, the Performance Boxer Briefs, and the Shed Travel Bag. Be serious for a second. We're about to go back to school. I don't know if you know, but if you're about to go on a college campus, those walks from one side of the campus to the other are treacherous and they're hot. You might not be the freshest dandelion in the patch. I need us to work on that. I need us to fix that. And if you go to Manscaped and you get their performance package 4.0, you put some of that ball deodorant on you, you're going to be smelling so good in that lecture. Everybody's going to be like, what is that? Is that, is that Manscaped? And you'd be like, hey, you should have watched the You Should Know podcast. You would have gotten free worldwide shipping and 20% off of your order, and you could have smelled like this. Now y'all are a bunch of musty, nasty people inside of this lecture hall. Not me, because I went to manscaped.com, 20% off and free worldwide shipping, and I got that performance package 4.0. Go to manscaped.com at checkout. Use code PSH, 20% off, free worldwide shipping, using code PSH at checkout. Now back to the rest of the podcast. All right, guys, we're back with co-host Cam in the building. I was not expecting a dap. Ah, the snap! Yeah, sorry. It's, I got to break that habit. All right. That's try. a bad... There you go. It's... Okay, we would go for that normal, but the leverage... We're too low. The yeah, leverage isn't good. So what are we so doing? We're doing are we going for it. Go for it as if we were standing. Okay. Okay. I feel you were itching to snap. I was. There's a bad itch. Uh, can you... Oh, I was going to ask you to feel the back of my knee. I think you can Why still you feel it through that? the no, pants. Okay. Back at it again, guys. Uh, episode 21. Yes, yeah, sir. It's going to be a good one. Banger. Fire. Banger. Smack. All of that. I love that. Shout out to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> a little rabid dog in the back. All right. <laughs> that one was so hype. But, uh... Yeah, back at it. Oh, God. How you doing? How you feeling? How you doing? How you feeling? And how are you doing? Good, good, decent, and good. What's the decent part thrown in there? I thought we I just threw a decent. Switch up the vocab. If I were to tell you that my left foot is cramping to all hell, would you believe me? 550s, arch supports a little. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it yeah, literally I, feels I like my toe is going like this. <laughs> but yeah, so what's up? I'm chilling, man. I'm, 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 I'm moving into my new apartment well. Everything is I know. going good. I like it. I like it. It's a lot. Uh, I mean, the, his other one was nice, too, but this one's in a better area. A lot, like, nice area. Screaming lady's not around. No, I'll miss her. Lady. Actually, whenever... I didn't say this on the last podcast. When I was moving my stuff out, I saw her for one last time. Oh. Go ahead and, go ahead and indulge them. He already told me. <laughs> she was... Um, I love Screaming Lady, and I hope she does well. But... But she was walking down the street... Butt naked. Butt naked. Swinging a crowbar. Yeah. She was swinging a crowbar at cars. I've never seen her get violent like that, and it hurt to see. It, it was probably a rough day for her. Yeah, and I love her, and I hope she finds some help. Yes. Because she deserves it. Anyway. I love her. Yep. And shout, shout out, out to Screaming Lady. Lady. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm excited. I love this podcast. Don't let me forget because I have uh, ADHD, right? I'm, well, okay, undiagnosed. If, okay, it, Cam has the attention span of a golden retriever. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, and he's already said that multiple times in the Discord. But yep, join the Discord. Just don't let me forget. I have, a, I have something that I didn't tell you that we didn't write down that I want to do. So, yeah. Well, yeah. how am I supposed to remind you? Yeah, just be like, didn't you have something? Should I not do it now? No, we, no, we can get through. Okay, okay, okay. Um. I just kind of want to talk about something because I was having this thought earlier because I'm I'm an anxious person, so my mind's at 100 miles per hour all the time. All the time. <sighs> Constant racetrack. Just <laughs> Do you ever have those, like, moments where you, like, think about something you did as a child and you, like, cringe because it, like, yes. it's the oh. worst. And the the thing that oh, em- I could, mm. my most embarrassing things in life happened whenever I was in school and they happened in a classroom. Yeah. Like, I think classroom embarrassing moments are at the tip of the peak is that an expression? Top the, the, of the hill? Top. We're running up the hill. You're running, running up the road. Whoa. <laughs> I thought we were going to keep going. No, All no, because right. I didn't want to get copywritten. Yeah, yeah. But mm, in, in fair. Like, classroom embarrassing moments are at the top of the scale of embarrassing there moments in life. Top of the scale. A lot better than top of the peak. Yeah, that other yeah. one. That sucks. Class, the reason classroom embarrassment is at the top is because you you're not full-fledged adult yet. Right. 
Like now you do something embarrassing, it's like, oh God, it's a rough Tuesday. Like, can't, <laughs> it's like can't help it. Yeah. But there, you're in front of 25 to 30 other peers. Right. And you're embarrassed. And at that point in time, it's crazy because people always say it like, bro, when you're in school, like that's your life at that. It really is. It, like yeah. you don't understand outside life. You don't have bills. You your don't only have, concern in life is school. Yeah. If you have a significant other, it's literally like a, a high school boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah. Like, you know, it's and the ones that dated then made it all the way props to you but it's like they're cheating you're like you don't even understand getting out of high school into real world like yeah. the high school means nothing and when you get back but at the during the time it's it like it feels like pinnacle. your world yeah, yeah like you like you cannot mess up anything that's why embarrassing things in the classroom are just oof one of the most embarrassing things i can remember from school is whenever you had to cough in class but you oh, didn't yeah. want to cough like out loud like say the cl- the classroom you end up you're like you like literally red. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> and then people still look at you, and you look insane because you're sitting there. <laughs> and like That's to the to point of back. almost passing out. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> Dude, okay. So me, first off, this is really cringy, and I apologize for people that like cannot stand this or like have someone that is this in your life. I was a nervous laugher, so if I was like getting in trouble, if I was. If someone else was getting in trouble, it's something that shouldn't be laughed at. But like any any like awkward situation or like something not necessarily good is going on and happening, I would laugh at. You it. did this in school? I couldn't control it. Like what would nervous. happen? So like if I was literally getting yelled at by a teacher, I'd be like, <laughs> "It's so disrespectful! It is so disrespectful!" But what? It's because I was so nervous that something was happening. I was just like my coping mechanism was to laugh, and I I I straight up couldn't control it. Like I say so. <laughs> Me and Sanjin and stuff like that, we'd get in, um, shout out Mr. Parker, hope everything's going well. He was our business teacher, right? And me, Sanjin, and Taurus. Taurus would have Mr. Parker going up the walls, bro, right. just irritated left and right. Me and Sanjin, being Taurus's friend, always sitting with him, we'd get looped into it. So, like, we're getting yelled at. Like, he's <laughs> screaming at us, and I'm just like, <laughs> like, trying not, and I don't know why. Like, it's, looking back, I, like... Oh uh, yeah, I. I you were a little asshole. No, that's assholeish. No, no, that is like if someone was like disciplining you, you're like, no. Another coach story that's assholeish. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird thing to say. <laughs> I want to say, like tenth or eleventh grade, like so, like sophomore, junior year, right? Freshman coach at the time, not gonna say his name, has his classroom. I'm walking to my class, right? Right. They're walking this way, away from their classrooms. I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> That's not, you know, we have five minutes. Why are you going that way? Just talking to them. They go, word for word, follow us. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs> what? Are we fighting someone? What's like, are you, what's going on? Yeah. They look as happy as all get out. And I'm like, all right, uh, yeah. I can be late. So I turn around. I start going with them. They walk into, ah, can I say his name? No. Who? The coach. Freshman coach at the time. No. Okay, yeah. They walk, I'm going to just say coach. They walk into coach's room, right? Mm-hmm. And he just, like, the class is just ended. So, of course, you got your couple of stragglers putting their notebooks in there. There's still students in there. Mm-hmm. Then you have other students that are getting ready for the next class. Exactly. So, he's just chilling in there. And he is the coach. Like, he's an assistant coach for our varsity team, but the head coach for the freshman team. Okay. Okay. So, we walk in there. Oh, my goodness, bro. I will never, ever, ever forget this moment. I was so baffled. It was unbelievable. We walk in and sets him up and goes... Coach, what's up? Da, da, da. Coach goes to embrace him. He goes, whips him in around, holds him. You know, um, from wrestling way back when, what, what was that? The master lock? Yes, like yes. You get behind someone and hold him. Like yeah, and they're like this, yeah. He goes, what's up, coach? He goes to dap him up, wraps his arms, <laughs> holds him behind him. Horse comes up and goes, <laughs> right, like, like ball shot, like, <laughs> Mock, just right, mock, right in his. He assaulted his coach. This coach, I, can't, I it sounds so much more fluent when you say the name. Coach throws sand. You would have thought twenty pounds. Immediately out of the hold, grabs by his shirt, wrinkles it up, puts him right against the wall. Puts him right against the wall. You would have thought he was never employed by a school. Like, Im- you mother... Like, it was unbelievable. Starts cussing him out. 
in front of all these students. You're going to pay for this. I swear to God. Da, da, da. Don't you ever do something like this again. You mother. You son of a. All this. What? The all up into his face. But like right here. He's, he's, he's screaming he's like, at him. <laughs> Takes him. Releases him. Get the hell out of my classroom. We ran for like a week and a half. I just want to know. What was your relationship with A grown with man. Him? No, he was cool. He was funny. He was like, we joked around with him. But it's like, that just shows you. Why did they do that? That's I'm insult. I am literally standing in the doorway like this. <laughs> like, it was so it was so funny. But it wasn't, because that's messed up. But then it got so intense. Like, I was, I was straight up lost for words. I was like... Who does that? Yeah, it was... It, you... You're a sociopath. <laughs> it was insane. It, it was... See, I had nothing like that happen to me, but like my most, it was insane. My most like embarrassing, like co uh, sometimes I just like I want to give up. I had nothing like that happen. Keep fight <laughs> for real though. Like do better. <laughs> just kidding. We're I had going. I had nothing like that happen to me in high school, but like my most embarrassing like classroom moment is whenever we were taking like an exam and the classroom was completely silent and my stomach was growling. Dude, what am I supposed to yeah, do in that moment? Dude, when a stomach growls to you, it's like at volume eight, but you don't realize to everyone else it's probably at like a three. But if they hear that three, they're like, ooh. Like his his insides are not like is that a, was that a fart? Is that exactly. A so you you feel the need to like address it. They think you got bubble no, guts. Oh my gosh, dude! Something else so funny. It's like all you hear is this. It's like it's completely silent. All you hear is yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah. And you try to like readjust your stomach, and now you're sitting like this taking Another a thing test. So funny. So uh, friend Steven. Shout out to Steven Savage. Steven Savage, great guy, uh, high character dude, right? Right. Cheating finally came over him. First time in his career. Never would have thought of it. He didn't. I don't know if he didn't get sleep. I don't know what happened. Really nervous on this test. He writes some stuff down. Keeps on a little pee. pee, 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 pee. You start. Oh, got you. Don't you ever say nothing about me no more. You That's understand like 147 me? 147. You understand? One. Anyway, do you understand? Writes it down on a piece of paper, and he has it with him. Right? right. There's a substitute. Perfect scenario to cheat. Exactly. Subs just sit down. Whatever. So Stevens, you know, got his paper. And the substitute uh, starts looking at him, right? Mm -hmm. And Steven's still going throughout the test and, you know, doing yeah. his thing. Yeah, yeah. Sub gets up. Steven. <laughs> uses his keys. Steven goes like this. Like, Steven <laughs> sees the sub, seeing him right. cheat. And Steven goes <laughs> and throws the paper on the ground. <laughs> and the sub literally, go he's like, he's trying to get. And the sub goes. Mr. Savage, are you, uh, was that you? Are you cheating? Steven goes, yes, sir. It was me. I was cheating. I, that, that was me. He goes, come up to the front. Yes, yes. Sir. <laughs> and he just like, and you can tell. Oh, Poor Steven, Steven man. Steven was sweating bullets, He's such bro. a good guy. So, oh, he, that was so funny, bro. We, we gave Steven hell for that. For like, like <laughs> who Steve. says that? Like, yes, yes sir, sir. It was me. I cheated. I, like, no. I mean, that's the best that's way to get out of it. That's yeah. The, yeah, like best way to go about it, but God, dude, that was so funny. <laughs> that, I'm like two rows to the right, and I was just like, <laughs> I'm sitting there just cracking up. So funny. That reminded me, I cheated. Did you cheat in high school frequently, or like everybody cheated? Every, yeah, I wasn't like a every single day. I'm like, well, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just going to cheat. No. I can tell you, from my junior year of high school to my last day of college, I did not take one test, not one, by myself. That's not insane. a one. You know why? You it's have zero integrity. <laughs> <laughs> Zilch. <laughs> Bottom of the barrel human you are. No, this is my philosophy on it. Oh I knew ever since I... Oh, your eye! <laughs> Something just happened to my eye. Did you see? Bro, I had like an itch in my eye and I go to like, I was given one of these. 
That one got like stuck. It was like, I was like, ah. Uh. Oh, you saw that? Your eye was in first. It literally was like, like stuck. I'm going to have to zoom in on that. Oh. Oh my God, that was disgusting. How do you think it felt? <laughs> now you got like something on your like in your left. Yeah, uh, yeah, you go. Thought it was like an eyelash or something. <laughs> no, bro, you really went. Your whole eye was hit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my reaction was so genuine oh, too. I'm sweating. I was like, oh, you're. <laughs> I was so oh. I was genuinely concerned about that. That felt weird. All right. What the. What just happened to you? I don't know. You turned into a mutant. I literally, that's like the, uh, that clip, that fake clip of like the Justin Bieber with the, like the eyes, like the serpent eyes, like he's an alien or whatever. You've never seen it. All right. The moment's ruined. Yeah, what the hell? He's in an interview and apparently he blinks and looks to the side and it's like a serpent eye. Like, oh, jeez. Yeah, I haven't seen that. But, uh, <laughs> wow, shit. That. Anyway, back to cheating. Yeah. Um, I cheated. Yeah, a lot. I'm under attack right now. <laughs> I don't know what's. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to I'm going to pass out, bro. I'm so hungry. Oh, we should have got a too. snack. We never do. Uh, uh shit. All my teachers knew I cheated too. Like that's it like every single teacher knew. Oh, I was about to say something to get me in trouble don't or get somebody it. else in trouble. Don't do it. There might have been a coach who was also a teacher and was good at math and knew I wasn't good at math. That's helping you. Uh, he he probably would, did it. Did he did it? Yeah, he did the That's stuff. That's cheating. But it got to it was like a th this is my philosophy on it. I knew from a child I'm not gonna have a job that requires. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's going on. Keep, continue. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a job, a job that requires math. Yeah. No, it requires any sort of this learning. Okay, but that, okay. I'm not gonna need it. I'm doing. I knew I was gonna be doing something like this, and I'm doing something like this. Yes, like, I'm not. But you still like. I don't need it. Kay. I was never disrespectful English to class, a teacher. No matter what you do, you should pay attention and do good in English. That's no matter th what job you have, you're going to need to know how to talk, write, and read. This is the thing. And people think these essays, and th no, that really does. Like, it does. It's annoying. It translates completely. It does. You have to be able to clearly communicate through verbal and nonverbal, written, whatever, like consumer reports. If you're in customer service, like, and something happens, you got to put exactly what. Like, people are getting billed for, like, you know, it has to be clarity. Like, now I don't want to get this misconstrued as I was like a bad student, like, disrespectful. I showed up to every class on time. I was, I never talked in class. I was just, I was always attentive. The teachers loved me, but I just didn't do, like, I was like, I'm not doing this. Like, I didn't say that to them, but I'm just like, I'm not going to spend hours studying this to re to forget it after I take this test. Like, I'm not going to do yeah. it. I but mean, with that's English, my thing. it's like, it's the school, and we said it like way like one of the first episodes earlier of the season. season two. Yeah. It's like, School, it's just, I don't know. It's getting better, I think, but it's just, it's just, I'm not, it's just wired in a weird way. I'm not like, advocating for any students to do this. I'm just saying, like, I'm just my personal experience. But I always get a question, like, Peyton, how are you, like, so good at telling stories and stuff like this? English class, I was naturally good. I never had to try, and I always had, like, a, a 98 in the class. Like, yeah. all through my, even in, in uh, college, like, I got a, a award from the dean because I was just, like, good at English good at paper. yeah and I was just always good at storytelling but the uh I remember one time uh in my senior year of high school I was checked out of high school at this point I had my scholarship I knew I was going to college like whatever and so I was always terrible at math like awful at math but all my friends were in this AP statistics class which is an advanced play it was basically a college course yeah you could take I had, the AP test and get credit for it yeah. I had no purpose Placing being in that it, class yeah. but all my friends were in it and they were like bro just take it we got you I was like bet that was bullshit, that class. Like, it was, like, open form math, all of it, and you have to, like, do all these equations and remember the equations. I'm like, bro, I'm not doing this. But there was a point, my friend Jimmy shot to I love you and I miss you. I hope you're doing good. He was sitting behind me, and basically we had this thing of, like, a knock is, like, this number or whatever. We had that, but that was too hard because the equations started to get big. So we had a thing. It's, like, he would bring in a fake test, so he would have two tests on his uh, desk, and then I would have the test they gave me. He would basically write the right answer and the whole formula and everything. Oh, y'all some MacGyver Hand it to me and I would literally copy it verbatim. Like, even, like, the scratch outs, everything. Verbatim. Verbatim. It's verbatim? Verbatim. I thought it was verbatim. Fuck. Verbatim. 
damn it. I literally copied it verbatim. Verbatim. I was about to say, who's Batum? You're doing something for Batum? Who's this Batum character? It's verbatim. Verbatim. So I literally caught And so it got to a point where it was like, sorry. Two, it's okay. It was too identical. I'm glad you caught it because they would have said something. Where it's too identical. So I remember it was like towards the end of the year. We were already like, we had a functioning machine going. And before class one day, we were all inside the class waiting for the class to start. We were all sitting there, whatever. Teacher comes up and she she just, she knew I was cheating, but she could never like bag you doing she it. She never had the evidence. Yeah. So she says, like from The Incredibles. What? <laughs> when uh, uh, Flash, not Flash, Flash, Flash. I've only seen Incredibles once, so I don't remember it. First Incredibles. I don't remember. The younger kid's name. The, the little baby. That runs fast. Yeah. Not the baby. Not Jack Jack. I don't remember his name. It Dash. Did. Dash. Dash. In the class, where he, he was like, but he would stick the thumbtack under the teacher's butt. No. Yeah, okay. Regardless, go. Um, so she, she says, Peyton, come talk to me on the hallway. Now, everybody in that class knew I was not smart enough to be in that class. Everybody. Yeah. Even like the super smart yeah. kids hated me because they thought I was like some jock or whatever. But I, I was like, I'm a Athlete nerd. Athlete jock. Yeah. I'm a nerd. Like I'm a nice guy. Like I'm nice to everybody. It's literally me. It was a story exactly. Of my life. But they, but they, they, they never accepted me because they just saw me as like the whatever, which hurt my feelings. But anyway, so they, the, that group in the class was very happy that I was getting called out. My friends were like, oh shit, because they were involved in it. Yeah. So she goes, um, she has my test. She has Jimmy's test. And she goes, Peyton, um, I know you've been cheating. And I go, what? And she was like, all right, this is your test. This is Jimmy's test. Literally everything, even where you wrote the answers on the paper, the exact same. And that was my fault being dumb. Idiot. But, and I was like, and she was like, I can't prove that you actually did this, but it's obvious. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, me and Jimmy just study together all the time. I was like, we just, he like, he's basically taught me this class. Because she was like, she didn't like, she was one of those that wanted to be like a college professor. She didn't like offer like extra help. She was like, you're going to learn in the class or whatever. I was like, he basically taught me this class. We study like every night. We go to Starbucks together and he just helps me. So that's why everything looks identical. She's like, Peyton, even where you wrote it. And I was like, I'm sorry, but. It's like, we're I, linked. He was like, I didn't cheat. And she was like. Well, since I can't prove it, I can't get you in trouble, but you're going to have to sit on the opposite side of G for our final. So I was like, fuck. And that final is a big percentage of your grade. So I was in the whole opposite side. So me and Jimmy were trying to construct. I hope he's not going to get in trouble with this, but uh, we were constructing this whole idea how to do it. And then we we're like, airdrop. And, but uh, before every test, she would collect the phones in a basket. I was like, give her a burner phone. Jeez. Yeah. So I had give her a burner phone he had his real phone in his pocket i gave her a burner phone and so y'all he, out here getting throwaways for <laughs> math class yeah ap statistics <sighs> and so she, and she got to a point of like not liking me because she wanted me to she knew i was cheating but couldn't prove it and so she wanted me to fail the class and she knew if i failed the class it would like mess up college or whatever so she was trying to get me and so basically jimmy would just take a picture airdrop it and so i passed the final Don't do this, kid. Like, I'm not saying this yeah. is a cool Jeez. thing to do. Yeah, it's I'm not at all. I'm lead. just trying to say, like, my experience. Okay, since I remembered, and you don't have to remind me, you're welcome. Uh-oh. So what I have in store for you. Okay. You know, we all know, you know, Uncle P here at You Should Know, you know, stutters sometimes, says words that are wrong. You know, I, I have, I experience that too a little bit, not as much as him. Uh, gives us funny, weird answers. He doesn't know stuff, thinks he does. So... <laughs> Scrolling on TikTok as one does, and I see the little—I'm sure you've seen it. You know, like the little world star questions. Yeah. So like they're basic, but a lot of people get them wrong. Do not do this to me. Yep. We are gonna see. Hopefully, you just ace the test, but you don't have Jimmy here. So <laughs> let's see if we can get some. I have going. test anxiety. Um, bro, they already think I'm dumb because I can't spell. Pound of cotton or pound of steel? Which weighs more? They're the same. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Try me again. Did Benjamin Franklin serve one or two terms as the president? Bro, that was like in 1804. Okay, so one or two. Was he the first president? No. It's George Washington. One or two. I don't know the order of the presidents. Did they have it's one or two back then? Yes, at this point. Did he serve one term or two? Two. He served none. Benjamin Franklin was never a president. So there you go. What did he do? Peanut. Shut Electricity. Up. There you go. Um, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Um, 
Ooh. Oh, oh, that one's bad. I, I can't even do that one. Do All it. Right. Do you give it to me? Give it to no, me. No, I, I hate that. All right. Father and son are in a tragic accident. Father dies. The son gets rushed into the hospital. The doctor walks in and says, I cannot operate on this child because it is mine. Who is the doctor? God. <laughs> yeah! Acceptable answer, but still wrong. What? Still wrong. What does that mean? Who's the doctor? You tell me. Jesus. No. <laughs> His mom. Yep. Ah! Damn. I was hyped. <laughs> Some months have 38 days. Others have 30. Which months have 28 days? Months do not have 38 days in them. I said it's 31. Trick question. Did oh. I say 38? Yeah. Sorry. Reread the question. Some months have 31 days. Others have 30. Which months have 28 days in them? February. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> who knows that? Like, who, like who what? says that? What do you mean, who knows that? I thought they all every month has at least twenty eight days. What do you mean? Who knows that? I thought they all had thirty one. <laughs> That's like saying if you had four pairs of shoes, and they all cost a hundred dollars. They all cost at least eighty dollars as well. What do you mean? Who knows that? They all have at least twenty eight days. I don't you, like when you yell at me. I don't like when you're you don't think. Okay, that was the way you worded it. It's the point of the questions. What does the E in email stand for? Electronic. Ding, ding, ding. See, I'm good with the, this type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I'm good with this type. <laughs> Shut up. Um, Let's get a couple more. Give me some hard ones. These are easy. I'm giving what was given to me. Or what I clicked on, rather. <laughs> Um, pull your shirt down. Sorry. <laughs> I'd be forgetting where a my camera. A plane crashes on the border of the United States and Mexico. Is where would the survivors be buried? Survivors don't get buried. Yeah, That's old yeah, one. That's yeah. Old I see one. that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What state did the Boston Tea Party take place in? Massachusetts. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. As I went down the list, they got a little more like. Uh. Yeah. What is the nation's capital? Washington D.C. Okay. Yeah. Once again, it's the ge ge geography. What? Be fucked. What'd you say? <laughs> um. Let me see if I can get a couple mo. A couple mo. Mm. What, do, what do we got? Mm. Hit me with some hard ones. Mm. Slap me in the knee and call me Sally three times on a Saturday afternoon after the tea. Hmm. I, okay, now I'm, there's they're giving me questions, but there's there's no answer. There's no answers. So, <laughs> well, ask them, and then I'll try to figure it out. Why do women go through menopause but men don't? <laughs> what? Yep. <laughs> Why do cats purr? That's how they talk. We're done. Do you think? Do you? I have a hot take. I have an interesting fact. I have a hot take. My interesting fact outweighs yours. For February, I feel like most people know this, and it's not that interesting, but if you really think about it, leap year, one out of every four years, right? Mm -hmm. If you were born on February 29th, which I'm sure millions of people are. Right. Isn't that March 1st? What? I it's think you'd celebrate. Days. Yeah, you'd celebrate your birthday on March 1st, but like technically, if you're born on February 9th. Oh, because there's a 29th, 29th on the leap 29th. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you you'd you. only have your birthday one out of every four years. I had a kid on my football team. So if you like, like your that. 50th birthday, you'd really only be or easy. Let's do easy numbers. Your 40th birthday, when you turn 40 years old, if you want to count it like technicality and whatever, how many times you hit your birthday, you'd be 10. Yeah. There was a kid that I was in a, a youth football and he was like, I'm four years old. I was like, shut up. Yeah, he's like, no, seriously, listen. <laughs> yeah. He would tell me to like, leap bro, year. We're all, we're all, wait, <coughs> four. He said something like that. Some dumb shit. That would have meant y'all were 16. All right. In youth football. <laughs> You were a junior in high school playing youth football. No, I'm just kidding. I have but a hot take. I feel like cats should not be in anybody's homes. I feel like no one should own a cat. I feel like cats, cats are good pets. Cat, what? Cats are great pets. What the hell are you saying? Cats are great pets. I own to a dog. Who? I own a dog. I love my dog. Shout out, Ruby. <laughs> that was a weird ass head nod for your dog. <laughs> no, but super, cats bro, are not. Cats are, cats are a self, a self-sustaining animal. Like, yeah, put them in the wild. 
They don't belong in houses yet. I feel like maybe in like a hundred years, they're not at the point of evolution. They're evolved where they should they be domesticated. Yes, they are. No, because you can go to a dog. You look at the dog and you're like, okay, you're my friend. Like you like me. You know what I'm doing. You, do I know what you're cats. doing. No, you don't. You can, a cat could be looking at you like he wants to be like loved and something. You grab that cat and it, <laughs> it's just all it over the place now. <laughs> yeah, it's like cats That's are not cats. there. You can't talk to a Some cat. Some dogs, a dog will look at you. You go to give it one of these right behind the ear. Just take your arm right off. Has, has that ever happened to you? No. Have you ever been scratched by a cat? Yes. Exactly. Thank you. Cats I've, are I've been bit by a dog. You can't even talk to a cat. Yeah, you can. And who's ever talked to a cat? Anyone that owns a cat. And no, but like, yeah, they can talk to them, but they won't, they won't listen to you. Like a cat, you could talk to a cat. Oh, so and dogs it looks are just at, fluent in English. Yes. Dogs take English... I literally, I literally, don't you speak, Your dog don't you speak. does not know what you're saying. Yes, it does. Your dog yes, it does. knows repetition, rewards, and fluctuation of your voice. Ooh, my name's Cam. I'm a scientist. I went to school before, and I went to Dog 101. Who the hell are you? If you said, Malcolm. Right. Do you want to get, do you want to sit on this green couch with me? He'd be like, okay. He'd literally go, <laughs> and No, I'm not there. saying he's as smart as us. But if you, but go, if you tell couch, him enough. Yeah, couch, exactly. Fluctuation of your voice. You it train doesn't him. matter. You know what? It they doesn't don't, matter. They don't speak English. It does. Yes, that's that's that's, that's 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 even the dogs that touch those little scat packs with the little. Uh, Can a cat do that? Have you ever seen a cat touch a if button so, that if says someone, something? If someone trained a cat to do it, they could. That's all it is: is training. Show me a cat that's done that. Because there's no need. There's no need for a dog to do it. Yeah, some people are weird and want to make their dogs speak English by p pressing buttons. You're saying. You're saying. Whenever I sit there and have therapy, I can say, no, let me talk. I can literally look at Ruby. You let me talk. I can look at Ruby and go, oh, she goes, exactly. You said oh. you do it to a cat. And it's like, like, like it does not like you. I can, I literally have therapy sessions with my dog and be like, yeah, today was hard, man. Like that. My gas is on E. The gas is going. Exactly. But he loves me and I can feel it. It can radiate off. If of you me. had a cat, you'd love it. Does a cat run to you when you open the door? No. It literally looks at you from like. Have you ever had a cat? Have you ever had a cat? It's literally on top. Have you ever had a cat? It's literally on top of it, of, of like a cabinet. It's like looking at you, like go in. Like it's not. Have you ever had a cat? My, my, then how do you know? My grandma did R.I.P. to her, and she had a cat, and oh I loved that cat, gosh. and I felt like I had a connection with that cat, and I loved it to death. And one day I was like, "Ooh, Spot, come here." His name was Spot, and I grabbed him, and he sliced up my whole arm, and I've. Never recovered he from slit that. Slit your ventricle. <laughs> <laughs> like that's where my trust issues started with that cat, right? And that's there. your problem. And you know what else? My grandma did. God rest her soul. I love you and I miss you. She lied to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> that cat. I loved it. She was trying to protect us. She didn't want our feelings to ever be hurt. Spot disappeared one day, and she said, Dead. And, it, <laughs> and she said that she lived on like a, acres of land, right? Like in the country. Mm -hmm. So she, and Spot would always go out into the country, but whenever we would come, it would it would come back. Like we'd be like Spot, and it would go back. And one day we were like, she, she we went there, and she's like, Spot is just not back. Like he just ran off. There was a storm. I think he just went out to the storm and do something. We were like, oh, okay. And she was like, we can go out there and call for him. She had us calling for, for a, a cat day. that was deceased, and we did that for a year straight. <laughs> And she never admitted to us that's what sick. happened. I can't lie. That's sick. That's, <laughs> then, that's messed up. Like, and, that's too much. And then after... Uh, if I knew that the, the pet was dead, I would have let y'all do it for about a week. And she'd be like, it was come little, in, sympathy, like, fake cry. And she'd be like, it's all right. Like, Spot, you know, we'll get... Spot will be missed. Yeah. A year? We were like... We would get out for an hour. Me and my brother would be like, Spot! 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 And then... We it never like occurred to us that he was dead. We just like he ran away. And then like after my grandma passed, we were talk. We we're just like you know you just talk about memories you have. They're like, and I was talking to my spot. <laughs> I was talking to my dad about it, which is his mom. And um, I was like, dad, like we never got to like see Spot again. Like, we were just going through memories, and she he was like that motherfucker is dead. <laughs> I said what? And she was like she didn't never tell you. It's like tell us what. She's like yeah, I got hit by an eighteen wheeler right there. <laughs> Flatten. <laughs> she never told us. She was a sweet angel. Oh, oh my goodness. Shout out to her. But she 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 took that with her. She took that <laughs> lie with her. Oh my goodness. Let's do a Discord call. 
Let's do it. Let's do a Discord call. Hey, we do this every episode. Um, if you're in Just the Discord, started. link below. We're going to call a random person from the Discord. But I have somebody in mind. Now, this person is an OG. Like, a number one, like, you should know podcast Ultra fan. fan. Before, day one. Before this podcast, like, blew up on TikTok, he was there in the live stream sending gifts and, like, always. And we've become, like, close. Like, he's, like, yeah, like my my mom checks on him and stuff. Like, he's, like, a dope dude. His name is Apollo. He's damn near family. The Apollo. We love him. I've never talked to him, like, over the phone, so I don't know his voice sounds. I don't know yeah. anything. Can you start it? I get nervous. What does that mean? I get anxious. Like, last Give week, I phone. feel like I messed up. Put it up to the... Put it up to the mic. Why is it so low? Oh, Apollo, you got to answer. Don't fumble this, Apollo. Apollo! What's up? That's Cam. This is Cam right here. Here goes Peyton right here. Apollo. Cam. Apollo, What's up? my dog. It's it's uh we're finally talking on the phone, man. It's just, this is crazy. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I should probably let you I should probably let you know we are on the podcast right now, <laughs> live, so say what's up to everybody. Hello everybody, how are you? You know, it's Apollo. Yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> hey, all the like real like OGs of the podcast and like the real like ride or die fans like that watch every episode or any every live stream they know who apollo is because he's there apollo when did you first like find out about the podcast um so it was sometime in like the last year or so um but for sure the first time i saw you live was on your birthday and that was when i was like yeah i like the vibes and and I and I and I've been a ride or die ever since. Yes, sir. Yeah, my dog. Like every time, like I see your name like pop up in a live stream, like I be getting hyped because it's like it's like a comfortability because like he's been there before. Like the stuff really like blew up and stuff, and it's and like everybody knows who he is, bro. My mom is a fan of you. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> you know, I love it. Like, honestly, <laughs> I I want to I want to meet your mom in person one day because. You know, it, it's all about the good vibes, and and honestly, like like for real, your your energy is is like like good for me. And sometimes I'd be like, yo, I'm not feeling it right now, and then like you're live, and like I just feel better, honestly. Damn, man, that means a lot. Thank you yeah, for saying awesome. that. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Like it's just literally just me being weird and like, hey, and the thing is like, cause I'm a weird individual. <laughs> Everybody knows that, but like. Whenever I'm being weird on live or I'm like, he, he'll know, like, oh, he's about to start sweating or, like, a yeah. panic attack. Like, he knows. So, it's like a comfortability. <laughs> yeah. No, because, honestly, like, when you're, when you're on live, like, you can see it on your face. I'm like, oh, he's, he's, he's stressed. Yeah. Man, you know, I always got the jokes. Yeah. No, he be cracking me up, too. Hey, Apollo, in the last, I'd say in the last, uh, let's see. Maybe like five or six episodes, or it just it doesn't even matter really timeline. But what's one of the funniest things that's happened that you just you just love? You like thought your it was favorite hilarious. podcast moment. One hundred percent, him trying to be in the sausages. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Have you ever tried them? Absolutely not. I'm yeah, <laughs> that's my dog. He said not only a no, he said absolutely, <laughs> absolutely not. not. Yeah. Okay, well then, it, to me, it sounds like you're going to have to just go ahead and bite the bullet. You're going to have to try him and see the pain that he went through. Because as a day one fam connected to the podcast, I don't know. You might have to suffer just as uh, as Peyton did for that one. Hey, Apollo, this is what... I, I could do that if I might record myself, I guess. Oh, 100%. Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to do, Apollo. If you, I know you live, you live in like Maryland, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, if you're ever in Texas, like shout out DMV. Yeah, facts. If you're ever in Texas in the Dallas area, this is what I want to do. If uh, if you're ever here, I want to bring you to the studio and like actually have you on the podcast. Have to. And we'll we'll hook you up with some like merch and all that stuff and all the good stuff. So we just want you to see the studio and then I'll have uh, Mama Harden come up here and say what's up because she loves you. And Honestly, I would, I, would, I would love that and that would, that would really like mean like a whole lot to me. And by the way, again, my birthday message that you sent me, like, I was home. 
Like, I told my, I called my best friend. I was like, oh, I told you my man Peyton looked out for me on my birthday, and like I really appreciate it. Of course, man. Like I had it marked down in my calendar, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta remember to yeah, send Apollo, Apollo. A, a video message. So, Day one. Of course, man. You don't need gotta thank me for none of that, man. Because your family, you're a part of. You should know we love you and we appreciate you, man. I love you too, bro. Honestly. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to get to recording the rest of this podcast. It was nice to finally talk to you yep. on the phone. Appreciate you answering. <laughs> All right, bro. I hope you have a good rest of your day, man. Yep. Keep being you, All Apollo. Right, you too. Yeah, be good. All yes, right, sir. Bro. You too, bro. All right. What a, a guy. guy. What, a what a real guy, one. bro. Shout out to you. Bro, I got goosebumps. That was nice no, that he yeah. said that. Apollo's dope, bro. Yeah, man. Always has been, always will be. Apollo. Apollo's dope. Yeah. Damn. See, that's like what I kind of talked about in the intro is like, like I didn't think the podcast would like touch people. Like it helps people out. Yeah. And so when he it's said weird. that. How you, were, how you were telling me, like it's weird because it'd be different if our like niche, niche, however niche. you want to say it, if our niche was like, you know, supporting messages, mm -hmm. motivational stuff. Yeah. Keep going. Which I'm not saying like by no means. Take I'm, Don't take it as like, Oh, we don't do that. Like yeah. we don't want. Like we love to do that through what we do. Exactly. But like that's not necessarily the exact intent. But for so many people to reach out and be like, yo, like that. You know, I was having a horrible day, and I just I put my AirPods in and watched the podcast on my lunch break and just flipped my day around. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like wow. It's, it's like insane. Thank you. It's like that's crazy. Like we're really up here just telling crazy stories that we share together and experience, and like ends up being that. So it's just. It just goes to show, like, whatever you do, give it your all. Like, Thanks. give it your all, enjoy it, and take it for what it's worth. Like, you you are where you're at for a reason. Simply, simply, simply put. Like, if you think your job is pointless, it's not. You're there for a purpose. You're there for a reason. Do that job, even if you think it's pointless, as best to your ability, as best as you can. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that's just... That's what it is. So Yeah, so shout out to all you guys watching. We love you. And uh, we're going to get back into the funnies real quick. We just have to get a... Are you... What, what's going on? Uh, good old... Good old Liv's calling. Oh. You can call her on the pod. No. No. Um, here, this is the last topic here. And this is me coming... Like, uh, confessing something. Like, it's... I have a bad thing about lying to people. And it's not intentional. It's just like when I'm put on the spot. Wow. <laughs> It's when I'm put on the spot and somebody asks me a question. I, I'm not good with that. Like, oh, spontaneous. So I'll lie immediately. Like, hey, hey, like, yeah, hey, you've seen that movie, right? Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, bro, that, like, the ending was crazy. Like, that fast. Oh. I'm so bad at it. And it happened to me the other day in the grocery store. Because I'm a tall individual, right? Like, I'm large. And so, obviously, people assume, like, basketball as soon as they see me. And so there was, <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy in the grocery store, and he had a b bicycle helmet on. I don't know why. He was an older gentleman. And he goes, hey, man you big dude where'd you hoop at and i was like iowa yeah i spent like three years out there and then i moved to florida like that quick <laughs> my one of my funniest moments is somebody back in uh in juco someone said hey bro you heard that new little yachty song mm -hmm. i was like yeah i started fake singing the song fake singing the song he literally goes no not that one and i said I swear to God, this is where it got even worse. Like, I'm already dead in the water. Could have ended it. I literally go, oh, no, that's just how me and What's-His-Face sings it. Oh! Doubled down on the line. I went back to my room, and I was like, I'm a loser. I, lo I was like, I'm a loser. I don't know. Literally. Like, it's, that actually happened. Bro, like, after it, every time I do it, I literally put my head down. I'm like, what? Did, why did I do that? Yeah, like, what am I, like, what's wrong with me? It's like, I didn't want to say that, but... Yeah, it's like I who just controlled me? It's insane, like, oh, that's as soon as you said that, I have not thought about that in a minute. Like, like I, I told this story before, but one time I was like walking out of the studio, and the studio is downtown, and this group of guys were here for like a convention, like they were all in like working suits or whatever, and they came up to me and they were like, "Hey, working suits, <laughs> you know, like blazers, just a suit, yeah, ties, <laughs> yeah. working suits." You can do anything in it. You don't have you don't have to work in it. <laughs> but they had suits on, and you could tell they they had like lanyards on. They, you could tell they're here for a convention or something, and. They stop me and they're like, down the street, they stop me and they go, hey, we're not from around here. We're just looking for a drink. Uh, what's the closest bar to here? And I'm like, yeah, if you go take the, down this street and you take this right and your next left, there should be some bars right there. God knows where, where I sit yeah, them. Yeah. Okay, that one with directions. And it's so bad because like, 
why don't we just be honest and be like, ah, uh, you know what, man? I don't really know. I think I don't. I, I that's think it's a, like that's a quicker interaction, <laughs> and it's truthful. I, I think it's. I don't want to let them down. Yeah, I, I feel that it's like a. It's a sense of uh, like, your fate is in my hands. Right yeah. Now. Like and it. Yeah, that happens all the time. Hey, do you know where so and so's office is? Oh yeah, to go to the end of the hall, hang a left. Yeah. Like that could be the bathroom. That could be an emergency exit and and. <laughs> But by the time they get there and they come back to you, you're gone. I'm gone. Yeah. I literally pitter patter out of there. I feel like I'm not like we're not the only people that do this. If you do this, leave a comment saying you do it too, because I don't want to feel alone in this. Yeah, that's that's insane. We have to touch that th the third one, because I have something that oh, pisses me off. Did we not talk about that? No. Damn. Where's my mind been? Um, all over the place. I don't know if this is just me, but I got a it's lot of. It's not just you. <laughs> it's not just you. <laughs> I got a lot. I'm passionate about this one. Go. I got a lot of phone. My voice cracked, didn't it? I didn't hear. Oh, uh, I got a lot of. <gasps> I got a lot of. <laughs> I got a lot of phone pet peeves, like stuff that people do when I'm on the phone that just irk me to my core, like down past the mantle. Oh, okay, that's okay. I thought you were going somewhere else with that. No, no, no. Like th we can well, talk about whatever. Yeah, but. If there's something that you do every time oh, I'm on the phone with you, and it just pisses me off. <laughs> that too. I forgot about that. Literally, I'll be talking to Cam on the phone, like FaceTiming him. And whenever you're on FaceTime, this is a visual experience. I could regular call you if I wasn't trying to see your face. I'll be FaceTiming Cam, and he'll literally, I'll literally just go. have me in a spin Let's cycle. Go. I'm like, Cam, I'm getting dizzy. Stop. And he's like, oh, bro, I'm sorry. Three seconds goes by, keeps doing it. But the main thing that you do whenever I'm on the phone with you that irks me is you do, like if I'm regular calling you, you will not tell me if there's somebody in the room or if I'm on speaker or not. Cam, you don't know what I'm about to say. Like I'll literally be like, hey, Cam, what's up? And like saying something like just joking around stuff, like being loud, like saying weird stuff that I just... You know you my weird. Used to, you remember when we used to have that code? We used to have a code. Someone else told me about it, and I adopted it and used it with oh, We did have a code. Basically, if someone was in the room and you didn't want to make it awkward and, like, to where, like, hold on, don't say anything, so-and-so's in the room. Yeah. Like, to where you don't have to say that, you immediately, when you answer the phone, you just say, uh, it was like, hey, did you, see the, uh, did you see the score of the game last night? And we just said oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was we something did, to do with the game. It was like, did you see that game last night? Yeah. And then you immediately just be like, oh, yeah, it was crazy. And, but then you know. You like, know oh, not I to say. say that. Bro, yeah. but you would, do, like, I would call you and, and, like, FaceTime you and be like, what's up, you big head bastard? And then you would literally and go. I'm like, I'm like, hey, my mom. Yeah, you're like, say what's up to my mom. And I'd be like, Cam. Like, like, what the hell? And you literally your mom would be like, be, like, just staring. I'd be like, Cam, what the hell? Okay. Hold on. Before you go there. Nope. My last pet peeve <laughs> whenever I'm on the phone is whenever I'm regular calling somebody and there's bad reception and they're trying to fight through the bad reception yeah. hang up and try again oh later god my and mom <laughs> bless her heart it's like oh. i don't want to hear it. she will mm, no. i'm like hey just stop just stop my mom. okay back in in arkansas right there was a strip about a mile and a half mm -hmm. on the way home that simply phone didn't work don't know what it was i'm still under attack by the way <laughs> so my mom there's a strip Back in Arkansas, it was like a mile, mile and a half long. Mm -hmm. Phones just simply didn't work. Don't know why, don't care, didn't ask questions. So there'd be often times where we'd be in a car, like I'd be coming back from practice, going home to live, all that stuff. And my mom knew, like, I wasn't in practice. She could call me real quick, and just check up, talk, mm -hmm. right? So every single time, every <laughs> single time we'd be driving, I'd hit that spot. And I would tell her, hey, I'm about to go through the microwave zone. Yep. And you remember the microwave, yeah, the zone. microwave zone. And I, you and me would just be like, all right, bet, call me to do the house. Click. Done. Anyone else? All right, all right, yeah, just call me later. Click. My mom, every single time, I'd go, hey, I'm going to the microwave zone. I won't be able to hear you. I'll just call you back. She's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I, I can't hear you. <laughs> you still. I go, mom, I told you it's not going to work. She goes, I can't hear you. I just, I, I don't know if you're talking or not. So many times I would literally be like this. I'd be like, I couldn't do it. Oh my God, she would do it every time. Oh, but my number one phone pet peeve: <laughs> if Apple tells me my music is a little too loud, Ooh. one more time, Ooh, I will find the developer <laughs> who signed their name to pass that into existence. 
and I will beat you with my bare hands. My ears, my car, my music. Do not tell me it is too loud. What? Don't ever do it again. Every single time I get in the car, da ding, your music's too loud. Da ding, your music's too loud. Da ding, or what? What's the exact words? Your uh, your volume's, your volume's too loud. Still, it, should, it should turn down yeah. or something. Oh my god, that's my. It's unbelievable. Do not tell me what I should do with my ojos. Oh, is that eyes or ears? <laughs> oh, oh, that is Spanish. It's like eyes. It was, oh, I was about to say. I, I was about to say. I thought it was eight. Ocho. Ocho. Ojos is. That's also, eyes. people that don't know how to end the call. The people that keep trying to drag on the okay. phone. I'm semi... It's annoying when it happens to me, but then I do it to other people and don't realize it. And I go, oh, God, that, was 30, that was 35 minutes. So you're trying to leave. Yeah, sorry. So I apologize for that. If you got people in your life that do that, um, make them apologize to you too. But <laughs> since last one's was eh, last week's rather, sorry. Wait, what? Last week's was eh. Last week what? Trying to spice it up a little bit. Your boy's going to try something again. Camp, stop. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing last this. Last week was the seaweed, right? So this week, you know, last week I said, hey, there's no meat and everything. There's meat this week. It's in a package again. Cam, stop giving me packaged meat. This one is a lot more universal. A lot more universal. Is it something I've had before? No, that's why I got it. I remember you saying you haven't, unless you've had it recently, but okay. you haven't had it. And I was going to, okay. Please, God, no. Cam, whatever you're about to pull out of your... You're going to eat it. No matter what it is. It's, it is, it's, it's in ev almost every average household. You just haven't had it and you probably think it's gross, but you're going to try it right here. There's packaged meat on your lower back right now. There is. <laughs> I do not want you're it. You're going to eat it. It sounds like it's in foil. That's, it's not. Well, no, it's not. What is this? He's, he's going to eat and y'all are going to be like, oh, I have this every day for lunch. Good for you if you like it. But some people like Vienna sausage. Some don't. He's going to eat tuna. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I will, so, I will, yes, walk, I will walk out of this no, podcasting this studio. This is tuna. Okay. I don't know what I'm... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It looks so, flat. There's stuff in there. It's pretty. Is tuna is tuna fish? Yes. There's, it's fish in a bag. So you're basically, <laughs> it's fish in a bag, no draining. Listen so there's gonna to be some liquid too. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. I can't. I can't. I, I just got slapped with a tuna pack. All right. I can't um, keep. I can't keep doing this, Cam. We have to take a break from it, doing this food stuff for a while. It is. It's open. Uh, oh, it's 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 pushing out the top. I can't. I can't keep living like this, Cam. We gotta do a smell test first. Oh, Cam. Oh my. Is that God. what I smell coming this direction in my nasal cavity, Cam? Oh no, Cam. You have to. You have to. What is the inside? You have to. You have to. Look at the inside. You have to. Just go for it. Do, do you want a fork? Look at the inside of this. Do you want a fork? No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Eating the tuna. You gonna pick it up like it's a quarter? Get a fork. I don't have one. Honestly, that's low key my bad too. I didn't, I mean, they don't, I can't just be like, ah, oh, give me a fork with that. Bro, look at the inside of this. I guess you're gonna have to, um. Look at that. Guess you're gonna have to. Kinda Kim, just, it smells so bad. Just go for it, it's not that bad. How is this? How, a, okay, you know, is how, it, you is know this, how they have. The, hold on, you know how they have like the the tuna. It's like herb, urban garlic and ranch and buffalo, like all the um same brands. Uh, Star Kiss. Yes. Star Kiss brand, and they have all those flavors. I was like, let me get flavor one. Like it'll be good. Da da da. But I was like, you know what? No, he needs it in the purest natural form. Even though it's clearly not. It's in a bag. Is this still. FDA approved? Yeah, it's good. Go for it, bro. It looks like somebody just go for it. Just, oh, I'm looking at intestines in a sack like right a, now. Like a. a what would you even call that? I don't know how what the terminology is for chew. Like a scoop of chew? His, his hand is shaking. I go for it. Ready? I can't, get, go. A, Ready? I, I can't get a good grip. Traditional countdown. Ready? Three. Look at the excess on my face. Three. <laughs> it's so gross. Two. One. Go. Two. It's on your shirt. It's on your it's shirt. It's on me. It's on my body. It's all over your hand. 
I can't get it. Bring the trash can again. No. Bring this for Cam. I will just go. I will spit this on this floor. Don't just go for it. Chew and swallow. One bad taste will be bad, but that's it. You don't have to do more if you don't like can, it. Can I get it off my finger? Yeah, eat it. Swallow. Just swallow. <laughs> We're right here. Hold on. Hold on. We're right here. <laughs> it's sitting. Just swallow. Trash can? It's sitting in my throat. Oh, so you swallowed. That's disgusting. It looks insane. I can't even lie. Like, it's just sitting there on your hand. I can't keep it. looks like little grains of rice. Oh. Stop talking about it. Hey. It's in my mouth still. Like, it's like, I, it's you in my body, but tried. it's in my mouth. You have now tried guacamole, Vienna sausage, seaweed, and tuna. I can't keep doing this bit. We can't keep doing this bit. Y'all like it? Can you give me like Y'all will get it. A paper towel? Oh, they're back here. Let's just, uh... Oh. It's crumbling. I'm gonna be throwing up at you. Bro, it's like in my throat. Okay, let's just get... Let's get him a code. Confuse the casuals. What is it this week? Uh... Uh... A... a Tit. No. No. T-I-T. No. Tuna is tasty. No. Uh, ATG. We'll see who's real. ATG. If y'all want, if y'all want tit, tit. ATG. Apollo the goat. That's that's fair too. Apollo the Everyone goat. Everyone else do ATG. Apollo do tit. <laughs> Only Apollo gets CIT. But uh, Apollo the goat is the secret code of the day, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the You Should Know podcast. There's tuna all over my 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 body disgusting. right now. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Follow me on Instagram at PSHA. Let's get that to 10,000 followers. We're almost there. I love you so much, guys. And remember, one out of 10 koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. That is hard. The You Should Know Podcast.